G'day one world fly squad, welcome to my Thursday trip report and if you're new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button for a new video every Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time. Today I'm flying Thai Airways from Hong Kong to Bangkok. Thai is one of a few airlines that use Terminal 2 at Hong Kong airport which is a boring terminal. It has no life, no gate and after immigration you'll have to take a train that brings you back to Terminal 1. I feel guilty for not flying One World or Cathay Pacific. We do not have lounge access today, so I'm just wandering around the terminal, charging my phone and watching that United 777 departing for Chicago. Our flight to Bangkok has just arrived from Bangkok as TG600. It's a six-year-old Boeing 777-300ER-HS-TKL My seat today is 58k. Every seat on board Thai Airways 777 economy class is 18 inches wide and the seat pitch is 32 inches. Ready for you on your seat is a pillow and a blanket. Thai Airways keep all of their 777 with 9 seats across which is really generous when most other airlines squeeze in one more seat per roll. You can recline your seat, the angle is quite generous, you can also adjust your headrest. Now to the seat features, there's a touchscreen TV and you can adjust the angle. Next to it is a coat hook and a USB port. You have a TV remote right there. Here's a tray table, you can move it back and forth and fold it in half. You then have a seat pocket with smaller pockets for greater storage. Leg room is adequate. You have a leg rest too, which is fantastic. Finally, you have a universal power socket underneath your seat. Thank you. 
far, far away. There's a Cathay Pacific A330 from Manila doing a go around. We are now entering runway 07 right and then we went back to the taxiway because the departure runway has just changed from 07 right to 25 left. Now that we're in the air, let's take a look at the entertainment system. That's quite a good selection of up-to-date movies, I won't get bored if this was a longer flight. The touchscreen is responsive, it's threatened to be responsive. The cabin crew began the lunch service pretty much right after takeoff. You can take a look at the menu on the TV. There are two main options today. One is pork curry with rice and another one is fish with rice. One thing I like about Thai Airways so far is that the service is really quick and efficient. They actually heat up the food before takeoff, so once we're in the air, we receive our food quicker. So here's my pork curry with rice, there's also a bottle of water. Up there we have a bowl of fruit and red beans pudding and a bun. The curry rice is really good, very flavourful and tasty. However the veggies were soggy and I guess it's because the food have been left there for a while after it's been cooked before takeoff. The fish on the other hand is less appetising but overall it's not bad, it's still edible. A few minutes later, the crew came back again for drinks. I opted for a gin and tonic and mum got a cup of cognac. The crew made the gin and tonic look amazing and it's worth an Instagram shot. Mum said cognac and gin and tonic would taste great together. I shouldn't have trusted her. From Thai Airways, Boeing 777-300ER, economy class lavatory right at the back. It's it's quite spacious here. I like it. 
you have mirrors literally everywhere. Amenity wise, it's quite basic this uh, hand soap um, perfume. If you didn't know it already, my second channel Express Flight is active once again and it's just reached 1k, so thank you very much. And if you haven't done so, please go check it out and subscribe, just like One World Flyer, a new video every Thursday, 12pm Hong Kong time. For this week's Express Fly video, I'll have the takeoff clip of this flight. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are now descending to Bangkok, Swanapum Airport. Expect to land in about 25 minutes from now, which will be half past 2pm, Bangkok, Slokata. When you are commissioned, the local time in Bangkok is one hour behind the local time in Hong Kong. The weather at the moment is reported to be hard and cloudy, with the ground visibility of 10 kilometers, and the surface temperature is 31 degrees Celsius, which is 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you. Uh, I am an expert. Thai passport holder is no longer required to view investigation for, but for a passport holder, please complete the form, especially the detail of your resident or address in Thailand. Otherwise, your permission to enter the Kingdom of Thailand may be denied. The DGC allowance for each passenger is 1 liter of liquor at 200 cigarettes. And in a few minutes, we will perform a final safety check. Please follow the safety instruction given by our cabin crew. Thank you. We're about to descend into Bangkok Suvadaboom Airport, so let's conclude this Thai Airways flight right here, right now. Once on board, the crew are very welcoming. Most of them have a smile on their face throughout the flight, apart from one or two of them, but generally, they aren't cold people and actually deliver the service to you properly, so I'm okay with that. One thing I really like about them is that they work really quick and efficient. This type of seat is showing its age. While I appreciate the 333 configuration, the seat back padding and the headrest were quite hard and uncomfortable even for this short flight. In terms of catering, the, sh the fish rice was okay and the pork curry was excellent. It's nice that alcohol is free on this short flight because free alcohol is becoming a rare sight even in Asia. Now thanks so much for watching this Thai Airways trip report and here we are One World Fly Squad, share your journey with me with this hashtag and please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and it's not too late to subscribe now if you haven't done so, your subscription will definitely motivate me to do more videos like this one. Thanks again and I'll see you again next week, Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time or Thursday 11 in the morning Bangkok time, see ya. You may claim your baggage from console number 15, console number 15. All passengers entering the Kingdom of Thailand must create immigration and custom at this airport. But for those candidates to Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Krabi, Phuket, Hat Yai, or Samui, custom challenge will take place at your destination. Thai Airways International and Thailand, together with and New Zealand. Captain City and the crew would like to thank you for flying with us and we look forward to seeing you again. For more information about Thai, please go to our website at thaiairways.com. Sorry,